Hey, my name is Wayne Krantz, a uh, guitar player. As you can see here by my beautiful Tyler guitar. Um, I've done some, you know, a bunch of gigs since I came to New York 20 years ago. Um, played with a bunch of jazz people. Maybe you don't know somebody like Michael Brecker, but he was one of my great inspirations. Played with him, played with Steely Dan, played in a pop band for a while. Uh, Donald Fagan, a whole bunch of people that uh, are doing great stuff in New York that you might not know. But mostly I just do my own thing, and uh, I've been doing that for ever since the beginning, making records. And I'm here today to check out this new G5 pedal at Zoom. The first thing I ever do when I get on any stage anywhere in the world is plug in the amp du jour that I'm forced to use, and I go like this. And if it sounds like that, I know I'm going to be okay. Lots of things don't sound like that. G5 does. To me, that's the biggest selling point so far. Because the basic sound, the basic amp sound unaffected, that's the, that's the center of everything. I mean, this sounds more like what I have on stage than anything I have at home. So that's cool. Uh, this is a distortion pedal. It's a Tube Screamer model. I mean, it just gives more of what I get from the crunch, right? Here's without. Right, that's a nice rhythm sound. And then just this just gives a little more. Again, not too over the top, it's not high gain, but it gives me that extra thing that I need sometimes. Um, of course, this G5 animal has gain vastly beyond that and anything I would ever be able to, that I would be allowed to use. Uh, but this is good for me. Uh, this is another pedal I use a lot when I'm playing live. An octave pedal. Something like maybe. One of my favorite pedals. I use it a lot. I don't use reverb much, because uh, I play very percussively, and reverb tends to get in my way. Uh, I mean, I'll use it post-production on a record, but live, not so much. Um, but I use, I use delay. And the way I use it, some people use delay just as kind of a reverb enhancer, or a, like a, to add dramatic effect to distorted lines, which I also do. Uh, and I can get that effect with this uh, expression pedal by just you know, going from zero to right to 100% to equal uh, gain with the, uh, the dry signal, which is actually kind of like how I like to use it, because I use it as a rhythmic device a lot. Uh, the bounce of it gets, uh, lets me create stuff like this. probably the best sounding unit of its, of its kind. There's all kinds of stuff in here that I haven't even seen yet, but just in terms of getting basic sounds that I normally use, uh, I could do it. I could do a gig with this anywhere uh, with my band. Uh, I made this record it's called Howie 61, and uh, it's got 18 people on it. Instead of a trio, it's got 18. You know, I went from three to 18. All the best players I know. Uh, it's a bunch of songs, some singing, some guitar playing. I like it a lot. Just came out. And all the things that I'm talking about using are all on there. So, good place to hear them. Got a website, waynecrantz.com, uh, that has all kinds of stuff. A book I wrote. No, it's not a novel. Uh, it's a you know book about how to practice, one way to practice anyway, a way I found that, uh, that I like. And a bunch of records and some downloads and stuff like that. You know, again, this isn't my usual thing. You know, I'm usually in a room somewhere practicing or writing or something, so this is kind of different for me. But uh, uh, this is good stuff. It's actually a good unit, and people that really know what they're doing spend a lot of time on it. 